Right now, JPL is running two shifts of machinist in the JPL fabrication shop to keep up with the manufacturing of parts for the rovers. We have about 60 machinists working in our shops. The Mars Exploration rovers are scheduled to launch in 2003, so now is the time for making all their thousands of parts. Then they will be assembled and tested. We made them and now we're, just, we're opening them up just a little bit. The 163 pin should fit in there. In each one of those. And this is the next one we're doing now. We're going to put some more holes around here and then we have a finished part. Our machinists come from a lot of different backgrounds, but all of them have very solid experience in computer-aided machining, working with computer-aided designs and drawings. They have a wide range of machining experience from everything from race cars to space shuttles. About 80% of the machining is done by commercial machine shops outside of JPL. The engineers want to keep the most complex parts in-house. That way they can work with the machinist as the parts are being rendered. The engineer can keep an eye on the manufacturing process to make sure designs are being correctly interpreted and that they are close by in case adaptations need be made along the way. The parts our machinists are making range in size from about the diameter of a pencil to the biggest item, the launch adapter, which is about the size of a round banquet table. Many of the parts are made of titanium, which is strong and lightweight. Spacecraft always have to meet very strict requirements on size and weight. The rovers and landers are particularly challenging because they have a lot of parts that deploy. There's a lot of science and engineering capability built into a small space. Once they're on Mars, the rover unfolds like a butterfly from a cocoon. The rover and lander system requires some three dozen gears and motors. Some of these help open and unfold the landers to release the rovers. Some deploy science and communication instruments and some are part of the rover's mobility and steering system.